Alright, we good? Yo. Alright, what's up everybody? Silent Wolf here. <laughs> the one himself. We're here in, we're in Grand Finals. Crush, Smuckers against Bladewise and Calm Master. Last time they fought was roughly like two hours ago. Yeah, Doubles has been dragging on for a while, I think. I don't think either of these teams are static teams. Really? I know, I know Crush and uh, Smuckers aren't. Teddy, Teddy or Bladewise, rather, and uh, Calm Master might have teamed a few times in yeah. the past. I think in general, Bladewise is, is just general gameplay. He's very, he's just a good teammate. Oh, yeah. yeah. So no matter what, he's kind of a good choice. But I know Crush and Smuckers, this is their first time teaming. As far as I'm aware. Yeah, Fox Falcon is like, it's hit or miss too. You can either like go in pretty hard or just get tossed around like crazy because your character is just yeah. getting knocked around like that. And they've been playing and I've been seeing them improve. Overall, I've been mean, struggled against a few teams, but quickly gained traction. It's like, whoa, is this, is this even the same? The yeah, same yeah, team? for sure. They're probably just like kind of getting used to each other, but like there's a lot of like unspoken rules and teams that everyone kind of abides by so yeah that that's what allows you to team with people you haven't teamed with before and still like kind of understand what they're going to do in certain situations exactly and i guess the wild card is that my master is playing luigi and that's kind of a, a, a difficult character to really get used to yeah a lot of people aren't very experienced in the matchup so luigi gets away with a lot of bs yeah not wrong about that. Not even going to sugarcoat it. But uh, here we are in the first game, and Bladewise, uncharacteristic, is already down three stocks. Yeah, but I think that uh, that down air save just got me up for it. Yeah. Not really, but cool. <laughs> Did something. Calm Master was about to get a shine spike, like guaranteed by Crush, and Bladewise jumped out with down air now. Still showing signs of life, but uh, it's looking pretty rip for this game one. Yeah, it's actually, actually insane how much has changed between the two teams because in winners finals a little bit closer in the beginning but clearly crush and smokers have the gears are the gears are turning they warmed up Ooh, that was nice but now <laughs> calm master on his own as the lone luigi oh he's just oh what okay I, I can see why people do that like they don't want to end up in a combo video but at the same time I guess it's different as a Fox player because you can kind of hold your own in a 2v1. Yeah. But I like to try and get some momentum back, like put on a show or something. Yeah, exactly. Maybe maybe your teammates are losing some momentum in the process, but you know. You get in a combo video, I mean, you ended up in a video <laughs> no matter what. I guess that means something for some of us. Exactly. But it's here in the second game on Final Destination. Uh, we were talking about it earlier, Calm Master and Old School Luigi, great on the ground. Oh, yeah. But uh, Smuckers and uh, Crush are doing a pretty good job of keeping him in the air. Yeah, but that's also that, that's kind of where Luigi struggles because his mobility in the air is very limited. But most Luigi players know how to work around that pretty well, mixing up like when they fastball and when not. A lot, a, lot of Luigi's, a lot of Luigi's aerials have good priority too. Now you were playing against Crush earlier, I saw, and uh, what is your what is your opinion on his style? What do you think of? Uh, uh, I mean, he's just overall like hella good, man. I, I feel like I couldn't really keep up with him. Mm -hmm. Just like technical skill wise, like just the whole mental aspect of it. I feel like he's a step ahead of me in both right now. Uh -huh. But we'll see. We'll see that. Because I know he's been he's been a really good aggressive front with his doubles team and Smokers has been doing that classic cleanup crew where he's in the back, he's just throwing out nares, throwing out knees. Yeah, that's it's pretty much the roles of these characters in doubles, I feel like. Mm, I feel like he might have wanted an up air there, but yeah. too quick and got that smash. Probably. Maybe he was trying to try to flex video. on him a bit. <laughs> Maybe a combo video. Still not sure what the HBT tag stands for. Uh. Hmm. Ask him later. Is it maybe it's just a mental game? Like, what does it mean? Does it really matter? Trying to get inside their heads. Trying to get in. <laughs> but it's interesting because Teddy usually doesn't struggle too much when he's playing against people, especially in our region because you know, he's one of the top players. Oh, yeah, yeah. And it's always interesting to see what other top players end up doing to him and how he reacts. Because he's been so used to his method of playing and being alive for such a long time. Great SDI out of that. Yeah, I feel like Trish could have got that, but maybe he was trying to go for the second hit only. If he had waited a bit longer in his double jump, I feel like he could have got the up throw up air. Uh, the only way the up throw up air combos on Peach is that high percent if he doesn't DI like that, so I'm pretty sure he could have got it there. Keeping the second game a lot closer though. 
<laughs> I don't know if that was the best choice, but it, it kind of left him, left them both chilling there, just waiting to get hit. Yeah. Oh. Oh, but that's that, that'll done. do it. They both kind of did like the exact same move. <laughs> I wonder if they'll go back to that or maybe something like. I think they should go somewhere else. Pokemon, maybe, or... Uh, I, mean, I, think that's, they should, I think they should go to Yoshi's. Yeah, Yoshi's? go for okay. the cheese at this point, man. Yeah. You're down 0-2. You just got to go cheese. where it's cramped and just blend them, man. We've been talking about that a lot today. Just Yoshi's at that stage where if you can't kill them and you you know, you know got to get something on the board. Yoshi's is your place. Yeah, like they're both floaty characters, so they don't live as long as they could, but Fox and Falcon can get messed up on the stage yeah. if they get knocked down. Especially with Luigi's hits, super strong. Like, you're not paying attention, you get hit with a dare to a dare. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, downward. Thank you, leg. Yeah, I'm barely missing these edge guards. Yeah. I think that was a phantom back air. Just going ham for that. Oh, we could have just shined him, but he just yeah. lets him die anyways. I think uh, Combat has actually been missing a lot of the down beam mashes. Or the, he just hasn't been charging it really. Like, yeah, you gotta do it once on stage to get it charged. Yeah. He probably knew he didn't have it, but he figured like, hey, I'm gonna what die if, anyways, I might as well just try it. What if for some reason I had it? Who knows? Oh, oh wow. Uh, managed to... Good awareness by Crush not to throw it back here there. Yeah. Kind of just like threatening that area, but not actually going out any heads. To let, uh, and that's great team play because then you're you're forcing them to move around, and it's like, well, what if I do get hit? Oh, comments are just barely missing these edge guards, dude. Yeah, some illegal spacing right now. Crush, crush, feeling the wind from these downers. Oh, that's oh, he tried to go ham with the knee. He could have kept it safe, got an extra up air, but he wanted to go all the way. I think they're uh, probably just realizing that they can get away with quite a few things. And, oh, but they're dodging into the SD. Can't get away with that. Can't, can't get away with that. Oh, little, oh so back uh, air into, I don't know what Fox did, but just straight to a knee. I feel like Crush could have just held the edge there and uh, let Comaster land on stage and let Smuckers get the knee. Oh, and falling there. Oh, and that's a tough position. Edges him with the cloud. They oh, both hit him. Yeah. <laughs> I think one of them hit him out of his shield, and the other one just hit him right after. All right, so they're split, but Comaster's sitting at 152%. This could be it for Blade Wise and Comaster, but as long as Comaster stays alive for a bit, this could be doable. Yeah, this is definitely not impossible. Oh, wow. Interesting position. Getting caught with that up air. Comaster's always had like one of the best survival DIs in the game. I feel like. Oh, oh, get a kid with that. The sneaky. That was unexpected. This is still, yeah, I was gonna say, Comaster's one hit away from dying, so anybody's game. Oh! <gasps> wow, getting the tech off the stage. Mm. Would have been better to probably roll away, but Cloud comes out again, but it's yep. not enough. All right, great. Now they're on the board. They, they, they the get game. the jank they needed. They, yeah. they kind of know it. They're they're giggling. <laughs> That's what I love about uh about Amon is just he's so so cheerful. Always gives you a pat on the back. It's a good job, man. You lose or win, it's still good stuff. But straight to Pokemon Stadium, that yeah. classic. Crush, Crush and Smucker is all business right now. Doubles has been dragging on. They probably just want to get it done and get on with their singles matches. To be honest. And oh. Getting pressure to the right side right now. Comments are hit with an up smash and a knee. Probably the most painful two hits you can get hit with. Aside from like the top. Yeah. <laughs> and they're just kind of. It's. Okay, it's splitting up now. Getting that uh, sandwich game. Oh, but Crush kind of faking out blade wise, acting like he's going to go help out Smuckers. Running in with the up smash. Didn't make that ledge right there. Can is that possible? Can Fox Clank shine with Peach's up smash? I feel like that's what he was trying to go for there. 
I'm not sure. I, I feel like a lot of smash attacks, like playing Fox's Giant, they still follow through and end up hitting him afterwards. Uh -huh. uh, Peaches up smash, I'm not totally sure about, but I know her down smash does that. Yeah, that's it. Down throw me. Smash, so. Yeah, you're right about that. I just wonder what he's Oh, I get the low percent shine, sneaks in behind Peach. It's kind of like that Martha-esque edge guard where you, uh, Jump in right over his up and grab the ledge. Yeah. Before him while he's using his hang time. I think it's harder to do on Peach though since her hitbox is so big in front of her. Yeah, she's got that weird kind of uh, style of her recovery. The umbrella. But, okay, deciding to chill out a little bit. Oh no, Smoker's going in. Getting a little too chill in the tree there. Don't get too chill. Missionary all to the dome. Both just kind of cornered shielding. Yeah. I know that's Ammon. That's a Commaster's like. It's the name of his game though, so. He feels right when doing that. I like. I mean, it, this is like good top quality team play where they're not kind of rushing in at the same corner. They know their space. And they know when to approach on their own space. Ooh. Definitely. I feel like Crush has been doing the best job of that overall in, in, these, in this set. Overall. Gonna be the it red team will take that trade oh, all day. That's oh, it. and it just ends like that. I feel like it just ended so quickly. Well, I don't know if they've ever teamed before, so good stuff to I them. Think, I think that's their first time. Congratulations to them. I mean, they're out of state. They want to win. They got that W. Yeah. 3-1 over Bladewise and Commaster are Washington favorites, but Crush and Smuggers proven to be proven to be the best today. Quick 3-1. Pretty convincing. All right, I'm gonna go relax now. Go ahead, and relax. I, you I got, got my list. 10 minutes of commentating for the day. I'll see you guys later. <laughs> Top player commentary. Thanks, Otto. And that was doubles. Coming up now, we've got our singles matches for the top players that were in doubles. Got to do a little catch up on the bracket.